Hi guys, Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I'm here to share with you day four of tags. And if you've missed any of them, please go ahead and check them out. So day one, we made this cute snowman tag, and I walked you through that one. Day two, we made this cute little tag. And then day three, we made this cute little tag. And I went through my stash again. Like I said, that challenged myself and just to grab stuff from my stash. So I had made in my store, I sell a lot of paper piecings and there's also a lot that I have removed from the store. So I have a huge box of pre-made paper piecings that I just kind of have made over the years and I just keep them on hand. So I came across this cute little penguin and I thought he would be adorable for another tag. And in case you're wondering, I believe this is a pattern from Treasure Box Designs. I don't know which one it goes with. I think it's like Frosty Friends or something is the title. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But I had made this cute little guy here. And he was just kind of hanging out. So I figured I would use him. And then I also had this little tag I had made. And it looks like it's probably from some punches, perhaps. I don't think I used a die cutter on it. So I used a scallop edge punch or die, probably a die. And I just had a circle die that matched size. I think they might be spellbinders. I'm not sure. And then I inked the edges with some blue and it looks like I added some, feet will show, add some glitter glue to it. And then of course I'm using the dies from Creolies. And this is the second largest in the set. And it's C-N-L-E-L-T-09. So I'm using these for my tag bases. And then as I was digging through, I found Flower Soft. Um, this was popular quite a few years ago. I don't know if this is even around anymore or not, or if, if people even still use it. But at the time, I think I probably have every color under the sun of Flower Soft. And I thought that the white one here would be cute to use for some snow. And then as I was digging through my boxes, I came across these feathers and there's bells on them. And these were actually, I guess they're actually meant to be holiday. I have no idea how old these are or even where they came from. I have no idea where I got them. Um, actually, the tag says Joann's. So I must have got them from Joann's, but probably a bazillion years ago. So I thought like this one here, because it's got some bells on it and it's also green shade. So I thought maybe it might give the, might represent kind of like a pine tree or something. So I figured I would use that. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, the paper pad that I'm using is a hot buy paper pad from Michaels and it's Holiday Bash. And I'm using Art Glitter Glue. And I also got my hot glue gun plugged in this time because the feathers I probably should have used it on yesterday's tag with the buttons and all this stuff here because that did give me a little bit of a hard time putting together. So this time I plugged in the glue gun. So I think I want to use this one. There is a lot of feathers. I don't know if it's too many feathers. And I also don't want to get him hiding. So I wanted to put him kind of like here, like he's peeking. But let me just cut this down because it's a little too long. Now, feathers are falling off. So let's see. If I put it right here, my snow could cover the bottom. I think I need to put him down first because I want him actually peeking behind. So let's go ahead and stick him down. And I know I want this probably right there. So go ahead and stick this one down. And let's see. 
Oh, I think he's going to be so cute. I'm excited for this guy. So let's see. Huh. Well, that's not supposed to happen. This glue gun here, too, I it actually has the, these pieces here. They're interchangeable, and this is like a lower temp. And then I have one where there's I have a higher temp that you attach for high temp glue. Um, I got this a billion years ago off of QVC when I first got started into crafting. So in case you're wondering where that glue gun came from. What I like about it is I can get it hot and then unplug it and take it to something. So at one point I was making a bunch of wreaths and it worked out neat that I could get the glue gun hot and then like walk over to doing something like that. Very cute. Look at him. He just needs a little bit of snow down here. So let me get a piece of paper. Because I want to be able to catch the snow when it falls. All right, so I am just going to go ahead and add a bunch of glue. Probably more than I need, but I want to make sure that the flower itself sticks. <laughs> Sound effects. <laughs> Look how cute he is. Oh my god, I love it. I think he might actually end up being my favorite so far. Although the snowman is really cute too the, from day one. Alright, not too bad. Just pulling from the stash. I think he is super cute. Of course, I love the penguin anyway. And then there's room if you wanted to write something up on the tag there. Alright. So there you go, day four now of my 12 days of Christmas. And I'm doing all tags, like I said, because they're quick and easy. So look at them. Oh my God, I can't wait to see how many cute ones I have by the end of day 12. Anyway, thank you guys for stopping by. If you like what you see, I would love it if you would subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'm also loving all the comments. So I know you guys are really enjoying the series that I'm doing. And until next time, I'll catch you guys tomorrow on day five. And happy crafting, guys. Bye.